happening here at Calvary. How many of you know that God's got something better in store for you? God has so many great things in store for you. Can't you see? Many great things in store for God has so many great things in store for you. Can't you see? Many great things in store for God has so many great things in store for me. Can't you see? Many great things. Oh, 
still in my right mind. Still have the activities of my limbs. Still blood running warm in my veins. Still got a new right mind. And when I come into his presence, I'll humble myself. Thank you. Where's grace? Where has I hear the Lord say, you got to understand, this is your finest, finest hour. This is your day to be delivered. Shake a name, by the hand. Shake that hand. Now you don't shake it off. It's a name I know it's rough and I know it's tough but God told me to tell you he's about to do his greatest greatest work inside of you because I'm reminded of what Paul said in the book of Romans that he declared So while I'm praying, it's working. While I'm going through, it's working. When you walk down, that's when it works. When you were tweeting about it, that's when it started working. When you tweeted about it, that's when it started working. Because I'm reminded that the olive has to be crushed for the oil to come out of you. And I came to remind you that all it is. Take me out. 
sickness, it was good for me. In this flesh, it was good for me. And it crucified, it was good for me. It was good for me. Say it. Yeah. Say it. Yeah. God, my suffering produced praise. My suffering produced praise. And I understand what David declared. I will bless the Lord.
but that you will sacrifice yourself. Yeah. You ever wondered why during the Easter season, sun now being repositioned and going yeah. over the equator because of the yeah. text, Jesus says, yeah. Jesus, several things happen that I have to bring out and then, then, then we're going to pray. First thing that happens, Jesus, Jesus goes into the city, he, he requires of them a coat. And ass, right. and I ain't touching. Right. He's going to the city. He says, "Find an ass and untie it, yes. and bring it to me." That bothered me in the text because yes. Pastor Reeves, if he had chosen a horse, he could have gotten there faster. Uh -huh. If he had chosen a camel, he could have taken more weight. But he chooses a donkey. Uh -huh. Because there's some things in your life you can't move into too fast. Some things are developed over time. You can't be in a rush to get there. Some things you gotta move into slowly. Jesus is going into the city. But he's going into the city after this luncheon. I heard you teach it this morning where the woman has come into the meeting room. This time she doesn't anoint his feet, but this Mary anoints his head. Because she recognizes I've got to anoint you for where you're getting ready to go. I'm not anointing your footsteps, but I'm anointing where God's getting ready to take you. Old Judas, who had already started to make his decision to betray Jesus. How was that? What is she doing? The oil that she used could have been sold, given to the poor. And Jesus says, Wait a minute. You ain't never been concerned about the poor before. The poor you're going to have what you always, but me, you're not going to always have. You got to understand what's coming and what's leaving. This woman has anointed me because I have to become the sacrifice. Six days into the Passover, Jesus rides into Jerusalem, the city of peace, the place where it should have been going on. And the saints are doing the same thing they're doing here in California. They took off their clothes and took off their garments. But I remember what Jesus said when he was talking to Israel. He says, Israel, I want your hearts and not your garments. You say you love me with your lips. But your hearts. So I don't want you to get mixed up in the hype. But your hearts are far from you. This may be a good place to introduce uh, the 12th chapter. It says, I beseech you therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies. I don't want your stuff. I want you. Okay, the tide just didn't change here. It, it, Bishop, it was good a minute ago, but it just changed then. Because see, it's okay if I've got the sacrifice of a lamb. It's okay if I got the sacrifice. But but now, God, you don't want a lamb. You want me. Yeah. The lamb can't suffice. And you gotta present your body. Living sacrifice. 